During good weather conditions, pilots are often delegated the responsibility to visually maintain safe separation from the aircraft they are following. When visual operations are conducted in this manner, airports are able to operate at their maximum efficiency. When weather deteriorates and either pilots or controllers cannot provide visual separation, the aviation system experiences significant delays. As part of an internal research program, the MITRE Corporation, which manages the FAA's Center for Advanced Aviation System Development, is investigating applications of next-gen automation that will allow pilots to maintain efficient visual-like separation in good weather or bad. These applications, known as equivalent visual operations, display key traffic information on a cockpit display, enabling pilots to substitute the display information for visual cues. The display is called the Cockpit Display of Traffic Information, or CDTI. The CDTI and its enabling technology, known as Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or ADSB, have been the subject of industry and FAA standards and research for a number of years. The examples here show how, with some enhancements, visual equivalent operations might be reclaimed using the CDTI. The CDTI depicts surrounding aircraft with such parameters as their call sign, their range from own ship, then their ground speed. In elevation view, a history of the selected aircraft's path is displayed. The information displayed by the CDTI will provide pilots with the situational awareness needed to maintain efficient separation from traffic even when poor visibility does not permit direct visual contact with the other aircraft. Air traffic operations will become nearly transparent to weather conditions. Procedures that enable equivalent visual operations are known as CDTI-enabled delegated separation, or SEDS procedures. In one SEDS procedure, the pilot is cleared to depart from a single runway after using the CDTI to identify the aircraft to follow. The trailing pilot simply makes sure that he does not overtake the leading aircraft. This procedure ends when the leading aircraft gains sufficient altitude separation or diverges onto a different route from the trailing aircraft. In another SEDS procedure, arrivals to a single runway maintain spacing on the leading aircraft using the CDTI, rather than visual contact for their spacing cues. Let's see these two procedures demonstrated in MITRE's Aviation IDEA Laboratory. In this simulation, flight CASD-49 follows an aircraft on a departure from Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, then follows another on approach to Los Angeles International Airport. In both of these phases of the flight, the pilot receives a SEDS clearance. CASD 49er expect SEDS flight 1765 advised when identified. CASD 49, flight 1765 identified. CASD 49, monitor, runway 8 right, position and hold. CASD 49, runway 8 right, position and hold. CASD 49, maintain SEDS with your traffic, Iron Ab to Herschel, runway 8 right, cleared for takeoff. Shortly after takeoff, the lead airplane climbs into the overcast and disappears from view. However, using the CDTI, the CASD-49 pilots can determine that the spacing is adequate and is actually increasing since the lead airplane is faster. Once the two aircraft are on diverging courses, SEDS is no longer required. As in today's visual departures, a departure SEDS is only issued when following a large or a small aircraft. CASD-49 continues on to Los Angeles, where it will be landing on runway 24 right. Upon approach, the leading aircraft is not visible due to the cloud layer, while the pilots of CASD-49 maintain safe separation using the information on the CDTI. CASD-49, roger. Reduce speed to 180 and maintain SEDS with that traffic. Expect vectors to file. CASD-49, we have traffic. CASD-49, roger. Turn right heading 160. CASD-49, turning right to 160, maintaining SEDS. CASD-49 is 7 from JETSA, turn right heading 230, maintain 3000 until established on the localizer, cleared ILS 24 right approach. CASD-49, turning right 230, maintaining 3000, cleared for the 24 right ILS. The pilot has now been delegated the responsibility to follow the lead aircraft during the ILS approach, just as he would during a visual approach. Actual visual acquisition of the lead aircraft is not necessary with the SEDS approach. CASD-49, contact Los Angeles Tower 133.9. CASD-49, contacting Tower 133.9. CASD-49, LA Tower, Roger. Runway 24 right, clear to land. 
CASD-49 CLEARED TO LAND. WHAT YOU HAVE WITNESSED HERE IS A SERIES OF OPERATIONS THAT ARE DIRECTLY ANALOGOUS TO VISUAL DEPARTURES AND APPROACHES IN TODAY'S SYSTEM. WITH THE DELEGATION OF SEPARATION GIVEN TO THE PILOT, THE CONTROLLER IS NOT CONSTRAINED AS HE IS CURRENTLY UNDER INSTRUMENT CONDITIONS. THE LENGTH OF THE FINAL APPROACH CAN BE SHORTENED AND SPACING BETWEEN AIRCRAFT CAN BE REDUCED AT THE PILOT'S DISCRETION. ON DEPARTURES, THE AIRCRAFT CAN BE RELEASED MORE QUICKLY. Simulations indicate that equivalent visual operations may recover 30 to 75 percent of the capacity lost when conditions at an airport rule out visual operations. Although agreement on the acceptability of these procedures still needs to be obtained from the stakeholders, equivalent visual operations show promise for leading us into next gen.